Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're back on the Unreliable. Uh, let's see, last video we finished up Nokia's quest line. And again, I don't know where it's at, but it's here somewhere. Something about. I'll find it. I'm going to find it this time. Star, this one, Star Cross Troopers. That was Nikoa, Nikoa's, Nioka, Nioka. Here you go. I got it. I got it. Nioka's quest line. And we had to clear out a whole freaking damn cave full of manosaurs and then a giant, I don't know, mega giant, manosaur queen, manta queen. But we did it, and we leveled up in the process of doing that. So we got, uh, we actually have a perk, and we got some more skill points. So let's look at those right now. Um, I'm kind of wanting to get sneak up because we want to get, I want to get sneak up to 80. That gives me more weak spot damage, sneak attack on weak spot damage. But I also wanted to get hack up. So I may split it between hack and stealth again because I think my dialogue is, you know, it's not bad. Persuade's 55. I'm losing a little ground on that. But I want to do more damage. Looking to do more damage. And I think hack is going to come in really, I'm going to really wish I had hack and lockpick later down in the game, I believe. Now, I could just throw 10 points right in to sneak right away. Persuades at 50. Lie, I can get lie up pretty high with my moon head. And intimidate is really weak right now. I guess I could get that up to 52. Not that it would matter, I don't think, at this point. I mean, it doesn't do anything until you get to 60, I think. Let's whack some. Let's put some more stuff in sneak and hack. I mean, I could put it all in sneak. Really, get 70 up. Get sneak up to 70. Let's do that. Let's just put sneak up to 70, and we'll we'll work it from there. Okay. Perk points. All right. Let's look around again. Let's go down to tier three. We might have something down here we could use. Wild science, this gives me plus 50% more to science weapon damage, which the only science weapon I got is the uh, prismatic hammer. And I've already got weird science up here, I think, somewhere, don't I? Didn't I use weird science already? Here, weird science. We got this going so I could get like 100% more damage. It says it stacks between the two. I don't use the hammer that much. I mean, I use it on occasion. Um, see, range weapon sway, movement speed, movement penalty to accuracy. That's just not a big deal. Confidence, there's something about blood and violence that helps you focus. Your next attack after killing an enemy is a guaranteed critical hit. Interesting. Armoring skill bonuses from any armor you wear. Bonuses from mods are not affected. I have not quite figured out what that does. And it seems to me they had one of those already. I took, did I not take that up here somewhere? There was another one up here that was similar to that. No. Yeah, I had not quite figured out what that does yet. I, I don't know. It says... Bonuses from mods are not affected. It says skill bonus and armor rating bonus. So you get 10% armor rates and 100% skill bonus. I'm guessing that's the skill that any armor already has. So if I have long guns as a skill bonus on the armor, I would get 100% bump to that. That's, all, that's just a guess because they're not explaining it that well. 
Tactical Master, Movement Speed, Revenge. Whenever you are affected by a harmful combat effect, you deal increased damage. Uh, Solo Sneaker, reduce the detection radius of enemies when you have no companions in your party. Interesting. Concentrated Fire, any subsequent attack made at the same target while in TDD deals increased damage. This effect is cumulative, leaving TDD resets leaving TDD recess the damage increase. Okay, so that's interesting. You get 10% more damage per hit. And it stacks. Okay, well that's one. I'm going to put that one on the back burner. That's a good one to kind of have, maybe. Melee damage you deal is return or healing. Area of effect. All area of effect and plasma damage dealt to you is reduced. Your ranged attacks reduce the target's armor rating by one point per hit. This effect lasts a short time and can stack multiple times. So something else that you can stack. Ranged attacks inflict one negative one armor rating for ten seconds and can stack up to ten. Up to negative ten. That's interesting too, another stacking thing. Revive companions. Headshot kills deal 25% of their damage to enemies within 2.5 meters. Headshot kills explode, damaging nearby enemies. I mean, that's kind of good for crowdsourcing, but I'm not sure how good. When you're at low health, you, de you deal increased damage. Alright, so I don't think there's anything up here that I want right now. Run and gun, speed demon. The collector increase the range at which all interactable objects okay snake oil salesman assassin quiet weapons yeah that just doesn't work based on the number of flaws you have let's go back down here let's grab this one here I think this subsequent thing either this one oh, it must be this was the one I was looking at just keeps stacking damage. I think that's the one we want. And then you got this one here too, which also stacks. It just it keeps chipping away at their armor. Ranged attacks inflict damage. Now, ranged attacks are, I guess, anything with ranged weapons. It's anything other than a melee attack. So that could be good too. That could work for my uh, my handgun. Hmm. Between that one and this one, TDD increases. Da, 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 da. So any subsequent attack made on the same target, it says. So yeah, that's interesting. Whew, tough decision, hey. Eh? Where was it at? Was it over here? This one here between this one and this one. Let's go with this one. Okay. All right. That was a tough decision, man. Sorry that took so long, but some of these things are a little hard to understand what they're doing, and I'm still not sure I got it right. All right. Let's look at our journal. What do we got going on here? All right, we got Clive. We haven't done Clive yet. I guess we could go do him. And we have the sublight remote access in the station. And we also have to go get the targeting module. And then we have to go to Byzantium. But I think, before I go to Byzantium, I think I need to get Udom's board seal back because that changes some of the conversations and contacts in Byzantium, if I'm not mistaken. I get all of a sudden I'm, I think I get more response from the board if I take care of him. But I'd have to go buy that from Gladys. And I may do that. Either I'll kill Gladys. I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence with that. Let's go do Clive. That is a thing for Catherine. 
And where are we at right now? We are all we are, we are on. Monarch. Let's go. We can probably just fast travel right there, can't we? Let's get my inventory hooked up. I think I'm going to go with my Persuade. Uh, where's my dialogue at? Is it? Dialogue skills, we'll do that. What's missing on that dialogue? I got two open slots yet. Armor and gadget. Okay, yeah, nothing big. Alright, well let's go do this and see how this works. I have a card, an ID card to get in here. I don't know if I can or not. Let's find out. Come on, just let me, let me, I was just on the button to fast travel there. There it is. Uh, we're not taking anybody with us. Let's go. Alright, so. There's a couple ways to get in here. I can use the old, uh, what is that thing? this the holographic shroud but I also have an ID card divorced factory ID an ID cartridge belonging to a CD divorced factory employee the holographic shroud developed by Phineas Wells uses this to buy much information stored on a corporate identity cartridge to construct okay so I need the card I see you cannot appear as a specific individual but will pass as a corporate employee from a distance so hmm I don't know if I can, I know I can just walk in the front door but I wonder if I should try the sewers um let's try the sewer I've never went in that way I don't think actually can I go in the back door now there's two bots back here too, isn't there? Yeah. Guy's very protective of his pig farm here. Let's see, where is the sewer entrance at? Here it is. I'm on the wrong side. We gotta go the other way. Let's go back this way. Because the shroud only lasts so long. Let's see if we can get in here. I think we can. We don't need any persuade right now. We need. Let's do sneak for now. See what happens. Information not found. Identify yourself. So I'm an emergency transfer. My paperwork is still in process. Error. Transfer request not found. State your employer. Registered. 
A fine of 10,000 bits will be assessed in your corporation's ledger for failure to follow transfer procedures. Thank you for your cooperation. Pretty sure this is the way I want to go. Duck down. There's Clive right there. All right, now we gotta put our persuade stuff on. That didn't work too awful bad. Whoa now. And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Perception. You've got blood in your shirt right there, no lower. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing some time. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody borstwurst. Hmm. Those parts are from Sisty Pigs? I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of borstwurst. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the Sisty Pig. Mm. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies, I disappear. A joke, that last was. Hmm. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. Let me see, attack. Please don't take this personally. I should go. Sublight sent me to kill you. But I'm sure we can work something out. By sublight, you mean Catherine, do you <laughs> not? A greedy star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head and I will gift you a <laughs> lifetime supply of Borst. Um, what if you guys partnered you up? desire that I should lower myself to Catherine's level of crassness and filth? I cannot fathom how that would cotton myself. The king built this golden monopoly brick by brick from the rubble when the corpse abandoned Monarch. No, he ain't the sort to partner up, as that requires the sharing of power and profits. Hmm. I think I don't recognize human remains. Those aren't sissy pig parts. Think to blackmail me? Try it. The king will grind you to bone spurs and toenails. <laughs> I only meant that what you do as a skill Catherine would highly value. For true? You figure she will appreciate my skills? They did take me years to perfect. However, I remain unconvinced she could provide the means to make the association worth my while. If you ain't noticed, I'm doing swell, ruling this kingdom on my own. Catherine wants the factory whether I kill you or convince you matters little to either of us. Your staff doesn't appreciate you. They slack on the job and gossip behind your back. Let's do that one. Ah, but Catherine would admire a man of my inclinations and skill. That is what you imply, yes? She will supply the worship I so rightly deserve. Very well. The king is interested. John Hancock me on the dotted line, friend. I will even <clears throat> give her a cut of the profits. Requiring she keeps clear of my short hair. It? A fair and handsome deal is what it is. Tell Catherine she is permitted to dump the bodies each and every Tuesday, precisely at 3 a.m.
<laughs> yeah, let's go talk to Catherine. Where the hell am I? I guess, is this where I gotta get out? How do I get out of here? I guess that's the door to go out. I don't know for sure. Yeah, kinda looks like it. This is back in, isn't it? Yeah, we don't wanna go back in. Is this all steel stuff here? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Just leave a bit cartridge laying around for someone to steal. I kind of figured that was going to be a fairly easy one to do because I remembered I've attacked that guy before. I've killed him. It's not too hard to deal with him, though. All right, we got to go do this, I guess. Let's get my, uh, unseal the door. Here we go. So I guess it says we got to go talk to Catherine, right? Is that what we're doing? Convince Catherine to work with Clive. Return to Catherine and follow a proposal working relationship with her. Okay, let's see what Catherine. She's she's not too easy to work with, but we'll convince her. All right, got to go back to persuade again. I think she has another job for us after this, but I'm not sure. All right, girl. This is the deal. How's Clyde? I do hope you gave him my regards. Let's talk about something else. I got a proposition for you from Clive. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> what does he mean to offer in exchange for his no-account life? Clive is willing to be your cleaner if you leave the factory to him. True enough. I got bodies piling up, drawing attention where they ought not to be. But if I take the factory, I don't need Clive to dispense of my messes. Can appoint someone to handle it myself. Who better to handle the cleaning than Clive? The sublight idiots mucking it up now. Point taken. Good help is hard to come by. Plus, Clive doesn't seem the type to upchuck his boards during dismemberment. <laughs> Still, you're asking me to walk away from easy money. Mm, running a factory is hard, tedious work. So are a lot of things in life. And your point is? Clive is offering a cut of profits and free body disposal every Tuesday, 3 a.m. All right. Color me convinced. Reckon I owe you a finder's fee. Don't spend it all in one place, unless it's here. 21,000 XP, huh? Okay. Are we good? I took care of your little drug running problem. Funny, you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. He tried to cut costs by using sprats instead of auto loaders for transport. That thunderhead. Can't hardly fathom how that panned out. <laughs> Let me guess. It involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. Well, you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess. Hmm, that's all she's got for now, eh? Alright, so she's got nothing else. Okie dokie. Now, what's my capital up to? 20,000. We can go buy what's his names. We got one more thing we can do. Let's see. Um, what do we got here? This is ranged weapon skills plus five. 
This is damage to creatures plus 25 percent. Interesting. 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 That's interesting. Plus 25 percent. This I don't need. I already got a ranged weapon suit, don't I? Yeah, right here. Okay, let's just sell this one. This is interesting. I don't know how that would fare as opposed to the, my long guns helmet. That's plus five. This is plus 25 percent. Let's see something. So what is my long guns? Uh, what's the damage right now? This is, says it does... Uh, doesn't really give you the damage that you're doing. But if I swap that with this... It goes down quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Let's sell that. We could use the cash. Oh, weapons. What do we got weapon-wise? I got this. Auto mag. I don't need that. And we have a few more. Extra headshot, weak spot damage, times four. Okay, we'll keep that too, because that does come in handy. Okay, so we didn't really get a whole lot of stuff, did we? This guy's got a vending machine in here, doesn't he? Right there. I got a couple up in here. No, nope, just got one. Yeah, we sold a whole bunch of stuff there. We 23000 but We can go get his thing now, probably, eh? What's this girl got? Let's see. You shopping for pre-owned or new? We're just going to shop. You bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. Who's the top dog in these parts? Town Sublight owned and run. Caters to a variety of clientele. The one you want to avoid pissing off the most is Catherine. Prove bad for her business, and she'll kneecap you without a second thought. Now, let's see what you got, girl. Yeah, I see nothing really exceptional. I don't see anything exceptional here. No armor. Any exceptional mods? No real exceptional mods. What is she holding out on me for? Why is this still re restricted here? I should be able to get in this. I mean, I'm in pretty good with sublight right now. Mr. Zap. Alright, so... All right, before we go get Udom's key, what do we got left to do? There was another thing. We got the Ice Palace. Yeah, there's that. And oh, we can go get these. This this is a this is a faction quest. I thought this was a side quest. Um, we could go do this. Let's go do this. We can just pick this up, and then we can decide who to give that to. That's over here. So we got to run through all these creatures again, eh? Publications might be respawned. We can go this way, but we have to fight the Manta Queens again. But we didn't fight them the last time I ran past them. Now let's go here. Let's go to the landing pad. All right, is there any baddies down here? These guys are not going to respawn, I don't think. They don't respawn. We've got some bad guys over here. Oh, my ship's not here, is it? I can bring it here, I guess. All I got to do is key it in. Um, I don't think we need it, though. We don't really need it. Barrel. Leaper injectors. Anti-Cleos. Fun times barrel and a skeletal muscular adrenal stimulator. 
increases your movement speed for a short time when you enter tactical time dilation. This effect has a cooldown. This is a gadget, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I don't need that. Three grand. Screw it. All right, let's see what we got to deal with over here. The Sprats might have came back. Nope, I don't see a Sprats either. Okay, good. I guess all we'll have to deal with is the, uh, the frickin' damn Manta Queens, which we should be able to deal with them now. We didn't deal with them the last time. We're going to have to deal with them now. Right, so what gear do I have on? Okay, I got my sharpshooting gear on here. Queen? That's not a Manti Queen there, is it? Yeah, that's a Manti Queen. Two Manti Queens. What's off in the distance there? A soldier, eh? I can't get a good shot at this guy though behind the barrels here, can I? I think we've leveled up just a little bit here now. We're pretty good. Okay, this guy disintegrated. He dusted. Got dusted. This one got dusted. Okay, awesome. And this one got dusted here. I feel pretty good about that. Okay. Moving on. There was one right here somewhere, wasn't there? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Can he run? When his queen got whacked? That's interesting. He disappeared. He's not showing up on the radar. somewhere but I don't see him he's not showing up on our radar at all let's do a save since we already did this we don't want to go to try to kill any of these guys again even though it wasn't that difficult where did this guy go he's got to be kind of worried because he was here, and now he's gone. The hell is he? We got the little manta worms. <laughs> he looks like he flew up on top of the mushroom. The little manta swarm, huh? Are we getting this other guy come? Here he comes. It's about time. So that's a manta pillar too.
I don't know where the drone went. There was a drone here. There he is. <laughs> I love when they go flying. That's so cool. That's what I'm talking about. One shot these guys. So we should be doing at this point. I see a file of floating dust right there. That must have been the, the manta pillar in it. Uh, or that could have been a manta swarm. Might have been a swarm. Uh, there was two guys here. Here's the other this guy. He's a pile of dust. There should be another pile of dust over here somewhere, eh? I think this, uh, our location is, uh, surrounded by canids, if I'm not mistaken. And there's one right there. Oh, not canid, um, raptodon, yeah, that's what we're looking at. pieces he flew to man that was pretty good Could be somebody in the weeds over here. You know, we busted that gap in a bunch of little pieces. That's pretty funny. Yeah, there's a baddie up here somewhere. He is. Yeah, he's in between all the boxes. not get a lot of XP for this, but that's alright. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm feeling pretty good about it now. Took a while to get to this point. We're only at level 27. Wait a minute, there's some more bad guys over here somewhere. Right there. And there must be somebody in the weeds over here. If I can't see how there he is, I see his tail. I saw his tail, but I can't see him now. Where's he at? There he is, right there. Hmm. 
It was like I was inside of him for a minute. That was pretty scary. Okay, we got his stuff. Alright, now we can do another save again here. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It's like I was inside of his mouth. Can't be too far from where we want to go. There's a couple guys right there, eh? Let's get the bad guy first. Tell you what, this weapon's pretty good. I'm really sorry I got rid of the first one I had. Oh well, there's the ship right there, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Um, I gotta go up here, I believe, though. Thing's pretty well intact. For the kind of crash it did, man, it should have blown up. Here's some of the guys, though. Oh, that's a Marauder. Okay. All right. I just saw. Uh, I just saw a guy there. All right, let's go back here. Let's uh, let's call it a video right here since we're still alive. And this is a good spot to stop, and then we'll continue from this point on. So, if you're watching, thanks for watching. See ya.